Cholesky decomposition uh, is a lot like uh, something we've learned before. So, so what we just learned about was uh, LU decomposition, where we had this matrix A, and remember I said factorizations and decompositions are one of these core things, one of these important ideas. We had A, and we factored it into L and U, and L is lower triangular, triangular and U is upper triangular. Well, it just so happens that if, if A equals A transpose, uh, meaning uh, A uh, I J equals A J I, A is equal to its transpose. So every every um, so you can just flip the indices and they're the same. Uh, you can refer to the, the video on asymmetric matrices uh, if you need to, to understand that better. So, but if that if that condition holds, then we can do uh, a special factorization, which is you take the matrix A and you can decompose it into L and L transpose. Okay. Now this is really cool because it's actually a special case of of this L and U, right? Because L is this lower triangular matrix and U is the upper triangular matrix. Well, the transpose of L is an upper triangular matrix. Um, and, and so if that U is actually equal to L transpose, then we have a Cholesky decomposition. And, and we can do a Cholesky decomposition and, and these actually, it turns out, uh, are a really great tool. They can save uh, computation time uh, as well as storage space. And so uh, this is a good thing, uh, as we talked about. So uh, in Cholesky decomposition, then uh, what we do is we just say then uh, A equals L, L transpose. And then we can write out the equations for that, right? A11 uh, one, one equals uh, L, it would be L11 one, one, uh, squared, I believe, right? The, um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so, um, and so uh, we can write out, we just keep writing out all the other all the other terms there uh, and we and and what we get is, is a whole bunch of equations but we can write those equations uh, in in summation notation which is what they've done in the book and I, I just uh, uh, moved down here I, I just copied down those equations so that it was easier uh, save some writing time here uh, so we we have LKI, the KI element is equal to a K I minus the sum from J equals 1 uh, to I minus 1 of L I J L K J uh, and, and then we have a second equation L K K equals the square root of A K K minus the sum from J equals 1 to K minus 1 of L K J square. Now if that makes any sense to you well that's that's great uh, you're, you're, you're faster than I am <laughs> but what we have to do here so we can really understand what's going on is let's take a look at these um, Let's take a look at, at, at these at how we move through in these equations. So the first index we can look at, I mean let me move down here so we can see this um, this uh, other index as well. The first index we're going to look at is k, okay? K is our main index. As you can see it shows up here and it shows up here. We've got this LKK and LKI and, and so k is our main index and k moves from uh, 1 uh, to n. k is like our outer loop, okay? So we move from 1 to n. So we're going to start on on row 1 uh, uh, and we're, so we're going to first we'll do the L11 element. Then we're going to start on row 2 and we'll do these elements. We start then we go to row 3 and we do these and then we go to row, row 4. So this is how this L matrix is populated as we go through. First here and then here and then here. Uh, but, but, but in order to see that you need to look at the other other index. The other index is I and I starts from uh, 1 and, and goes to uh, n but, but, but well, it, it really starts from 1 and goes to 
uh, uh, whatever the current uh, the current element is. So maybe maybe I shouldn't have uh, written n there. Um, so uh, whatever you're you're currently on, well, it is going to go to it is going to go to n. Um, Okay, so so we, in other words, what that means, putting all that together, then is this is the first element that gets populated. Then the second element that gets populated is this one. This is the third. Then we move down here. This is the fourth. This is the fifth. This is the sixth, uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, so far, uh, and so forth. And this will be then, and then we're going to move across here. Um, let's see if this is the... I, I don't know what number it'll be down to by the time we get here in general, um, but but anyway, that'll go this one, uh, then this one, and then we'll populate this one in the very last. Okay, so this is how we move through with our indices um, k and i. Now we have to look at this index uh, uh, j. All right. So so first, uh, when we move through here, the first and and at any step when we're computing an element at any step we're only going to use one of these two equations not both of them at the same time and so we use this first equation when k is not equal to i and we use this second equation when k equals i or that's why they just use kk so uh, that's it and, and then the second index j so j goes from 1 uh, to i minus 1 or from 1 to k minus 1 and, and k minus 1 is really uh, i minus 1 when k equals i so you can really think of it as doing the same thing and so what that means is if we're working for example on this element right here that's going to be the sixth one that gets done uh, we're going to be uh, summing elements starting here right starting here and moving over here, here, and so forth. So that's the idea uh, behind what's going on there. Uh, same here. We're going to be using these elements to compute this entry. All right. Now you'll see that a little more in the example. We'll run through real quick uh, in the next video. There is actually one other comment that I wanted to make before we move on. Uh, if you remember, we we have this decomposition a equals l. L transpose. Uh, this is about as close as we can get to taking the square root of a matrix and it's actually for that reason that you see uh, in in this part of the equation uh, this square root uh, appear here uh, because we're, we're essentially taking the square root L L transpose we're multiplying two matrices that are basically the same matrix together uh, to get A.